with you when I'm with you. Go against any like this glitter. Skeet all dirt on bitches. I put it in for you, I spin for you. Whatever you with, I'm with it. How you gonna cost a nigga out rockin' with you? I got you lit in the city. I've been multitasking, rapping and being the daddy to my little children. I've been spending on business and spending and spending and spending until I'm dizzy. I do all the smack, you know, stuff but help with none of you killing. You doing a lot of cap and watch when I catch, I'm a whack in front of witness. Damn, my d you tripping. We could have been superstars. Remember when we were jacking cars? Now it's not safe for you. You switch like a little bitch. Damn, my d you tripping. We could have been superstars. Can't help it now, I'm reminiscing. Remember when we were jacking cars? Now you better keep your distance, cause it's not safe for you. You switch like a little bitch. Track hard with the kick, snatch off from the when I slide, nightlight on the blitz. All right, so we on day two. Progresso, forgot the name of the excursion we doing. Holy guacamole, salsa, and margaritas. And a couple shots in there too. <laughs> they didn't got us this morning. Me and Pooh was still in the bed till they called us and said we got 15 minutes to get ready. Skip time, skip up an hour on us. So, we out the boat, at least we won't miss our excursion. Uh, Corey's still back on the boat messing off. <laughs> we hope we see them. <laughs> so, we'll see. Here we go. Major expressly said that we have to take a shuttle bus to the end of the pier before we get on the bus to go to the beach. And I said, no, we're going to catch the bus right as soon as we get off. She even said the shopping area right here was at the end of the pier. Deja owes me money. You gonna owe me money too, cause you, you bagging up her bullshit. So, you gonna owe me money too. Never underestimate Bobby. Bobby knows because Bobby is why I drink and I know things. That's what I do. Like Axel Rose, okay? We handsome nowadays than him, okay? I'm the Mexican version of him. What's the difference? Icing mariachi. Okay? <laughs> but I'm in the showers, my friends. Okay, but I'll be one of your hosts along with my friend Felipe. All of us from this van right here, we're gonna do a cooking class where we are going to teach you how to make guacamole, the best guacamole in this region, okay? We are going to teach you how to make pico de gallo, the best pico de gallo. And of course, I know that some of you are here for the margaritas, right? <laughs> yes. Today, we are going to teach you how to make one of the wonderful margaritas in the entire Mexico. Okay, are you guys ready for that? Yes. yes. Excellent. All right, so what do you guys have included on this excursion? First of all, the cooking class. All the materials, all the margaritas, the guacamole, and of course the pico de gallo materials for that cooking class. You also have included an amazing Mexican buffet. All right, that means as much tacos, as much fajitas as we can eat today. Is that okay for you? Yes. Perfect. How many of you like Mexican food? Raise your hand. Nice, nice. Because you're looking, because today's buffet is sponsored by Taco Bell. How about that? So, señor, ¿cómo te llamas? Joaquín. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joaquin. Everybody say, hola, Joaquin. Hola, Joaquin. All right, Joaquin, it's going to take us to the place that we are going to visit today. Actually, uh, Joaquin, I know him for a little bit, uh, not that long, but I know that he's one of the best drivers, at least on his company. Okay, he's not that drunk today. <laughs> Our uh, margarita, okay. Also at the tables, 
you're gonna find this black tray, okay? In this tray, you're gonna find lime juice here, salt, and they have Miguelito powder. It's the red powder. Miguelito is kind of salty, sour, no spicy. It's like a candy for kids out to the school, you know, something to you buy it. Uh, and that one we're gonna use to rim our glasses to prepare the margarita. You're gonna decide if you just put salt or Miguelito, or you can put both of them. It's gonna be up to you guys, okay? Also at the table, you're gonna find the Mayan blender. Okay, the molcajete. The molcajete, oh this one is volcanic rock. Okay, this one since long time ago, Mayas and Aztecs, they use it to prepare different kinds of salts. They use this part of the stone to grind the different ingredients here inside to make the different salsas with tomato, uh, with chili, with pepper, with different things. Okay, inside you're gonna find two limes. Uh, two, uh, one uh, piece of uh, onion, a tomato, and of course the aguacate, aguacero. It's aguacate has, okay? Also here in the area we have a local aguacero, it's a little more bigger. It's a light green color. Today, it's my first time on this cooking class. I'm just waiting <laughs> for Felipe to teach me how to do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. He told me we're about to shake somebody too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna give you mine. In the meantime, we make an open dish. One and a half. One and a half, my friend. One and a half. Of course, if you don't wanna, if, if you, you wanna, wanna be Mexican, yes, strong, why not? Put <laughs> but the recipe is one and a half. Okay. If you want to be uh, speaking Spanish later on, then two. This is a cooking class in Spanish lessons time. <laughs> it's two, two classes at the same time. <laughs> Alcohol, okay. So you're gonna use one and a half more of water. And all of you, one and a half of triple C. One and a half of triple C. Don't get confused with the uh, simple syrup, okay? Be careful with that. Remember something, guys, talking about the margaritas and uh, the pico de gallo and the guacamole we're gonna prepare. Of course, this is a regular good recipe, okay? At the end of the day, all of us, we have a different flavor in our mouth. Okay, so of course we're gonna give you the recipe and maybe some of you you're gonna think it's missing something, it's mixing a little more salt, a little more pepper, a little more tequila, a little more lime juice, whatever. Okay, but back home you can adjust that thing, okay? Because all of us we have a different flavors in our mouth. Okay? Now the thing you have to add, you have to cut what lime and you're gonna squeeze all the lime inside to the shaker. Okay, get the lime in half. You got one shot of a simple syrup. Okay, one shot of simple syrup. No. Guys, remember? Yes, oh. How are you doing? 
Let me see your onion. My onion different. Oh, these are good, Robert. Mm -hmm. Just cut that up. I made my whole onion. You cut it across the top. I'm trying to show you how to cut it. You try holding in the onion like you don't want me to touch it. Cause you ready to take it from me. <laughs> I want my onion. This is amazing. <laughs> I love my onion. I love my onion. Okay, talking about cilantro. And you know, sometimes we have people, there are cilantro team, and there are people is no cilantro team because it's very strong. Okay? The difference between the American cilantro and the Mexican is only the time today is spent in transportation. Okay, because when they take it here in Mexico from uh, the, the, the land, you know, to the earth, add it to the tomato and to the onion to already you have. How about you? Okay, you're going to put it in there. Just half line, you're gonna squeeze it, okay? You already mix. And after you squeeze it, you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna mix everything. So all the ingredients, the salt, the pepper, and the salt. Just like that. Okay, you're gonna You gonna use the habanero? I did. I'm gonna get at least a shot. Come on, Dominique, live a little. We're in Mexico. We're in Mexico. Why only live a little. Line. Because I don't want to. <laughs> you only live once. You only live once. On the line. So now you're going to mix it up. You're going to mix it all together very well. Dominique is scared and to use the, the habanero in her salsa. I'm not even a hot mouth, and I'm going to try a little habanero. I might pay for it later, but I don't care because we are in Mexico. Viva la Mexico, and we're going to do this right. Viva la Mexico. I don't want to you put all the ingredients, and in the end, you think something is, is more, you know, and you don't like it. Just be careful with that, sir. I am. <laughs> hey, Nick. All right, here we go. We made our fresh Baby pico. <laughs> Mine has Maybe habanero you can in it. The tomato, maybe for some cucumber, or maybe with some uh, like. Uh, you live once, carrot, right? Maybe? You only live once, right? Just switch it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't like tomato no, noise. You don't like that much. Spicy. But maybe you can make some. Yes, because anyway, like okay. I told you, this is a kind of. Spice you might not like me, but sauce. hey. Vacation. So you can take one of the vegetables out and you can add it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm Oh, no, he eats it all the time. He eats it. The cilantro is not as strong down here. Mm -mm. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's a good blend. Salt and pepper. I didn't put too much habanero in it. Oh, it's yeah. got a little. Yeah, that's It's got a little kick don't on eat it the end. Okay? <laughs> you said don't? Remember, don't. we gotta make the guacamole. We're gonna need half of the pico de gallo, right? Mm -hmm. Make the guacamole. This is good. Good job. I know I'm the best teacher, so don't eat it. It's wonderful. Le magnifique? Excellente. Here you go, Robert. Ooh, you got to try it. You got to try it. I just already did that. Like, the salt pimienta. I already did that. I'm not sure. 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 Okay, you're going to cut it like this in half. Okay. You're going to cut it like this. Be careful with the knife. After that, you're going to open it. Be careful like with your hands, guys. Be careful right. with your hands. And the more easy way of how I do it, I'm going to make a Not yet, not yet. Just the, just the guacayo, you're going to smash it. And when you think it's creamy enough as you like it, you're going to add the pico de gallo. And after you're going to mix it. Right. The reason we don't add the pico de gallo first and then mix it is because if we do that, we will smash the cilantro, the tomato. So, so, putting the pico de gallo after we uh, smash the tomato, uh, give us like a mix of texture. 
Where can we get one of these at? Amazon. Oh. Yeah, Amazon or uh, uh, at the local markets in Mexico. Yeah. And when you think it's ready, you add all the pico de gallo. From us? You're going to use the pico Alex. and mix it all together. And you're going to... ¿Tienen, ¿Tienen conteo de esos? I'm like this, you're going to know how to make more salsa. ¿Cuánto cuesta un mortero? Or, like Okay, okay. Venden ustedes? Yes, actually, you can get them, uh, those ones from here, like $25 for one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You love your table there? Yeah. Every single Mexican, authentic Mexican uh, family has a, at least one or two of these uh, items in the kitchen. You can use it and after wash your your face is, is very, Dude, there's a lot of good things. I was just over, I think I was like, okay, it's so many healthy. Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't. Oh, you flew. Hey. Hello, como quieras, papi. Okay, this is some chips for you. You already mixed your own? Mm -hmm. yeah, if you want. You add any more salt or anything? He's still cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now you taste it. And if it's missing something, salt, pepper, lime juice, habanero sauce, or habanero fresh, fresh habanero, you can add it. Oh, I can taste the fresh habanero. Maybe a little more stuff. It's nicer than you're thinking of. Well, what you think? Mm-mm. Right. -mm. <laughs> we ain't no hardly eat nothing, so this is this is like venturing out way outside of her her hemisphere. So how you like it, Gwen? No. No? That's uh, a no? It's, it's a definite no. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> Tell everybody what Mr. Brian I'm gonna need, done. guys, you take the rest of the first and half in your shaker. You can put it, if you finish already the first glass, you can put it in the third glass. And the first glass you can You can good majority take everything out of your shaker. Another one of these. In his guacamole. Okay, I'll give you mine so you can put it the right there. It's good. Ah, you don't have nothing here? <laughs> All I got to say yeah. is... We don't waste anything here, right? <laughs> he gonna pay for it tonight. He sure is. And we gonna get good video footage of him and running, running. Remember, the more I spend money, though, we're back on the shuttle. Yeah, he's back on the shuttle. I'm gonna blow all y'all out. No, you ain't gonna get on another man. Okay. We're doing a different type of margarita sandwich. She's ready to shake hers. Yeah. Really? 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 Smile. Yeah. Very good. Are you guys enjoying it? Yeah, that's good. Tamarindo, it's tamarindo. Hey. Yeah. Okay, we're doing a baby spice margarita. Uh, they shaking like they rookies. That's good. They're still cheating. No, he's not cheating anymore. Do a good shake and smile while you shake. Cause it's a happy time. You ready to drink a margarita? So here we're we thinking, you know what? We're gonna have we want to have some liquor tasting as well, but for today, four types of flavors that we are going to taste. Okay? As soon as we give you the flavors, please do not drink it. Do not do not shut it. Smell it first. Let's wait for everyone to have the uh, the shot and then we'll continue to try it. Okay? I think that we must know about this type of liquor. We do not shot it, okay? That's not the way we drink it. We sip it little by little Savor. in order to feel all of the flavors in our tongue, okay? All right, so if we're ready, we will start with, um, hmm, I will start with coconuts because this is my favorite one so far, okay? I'm the owner. A proud owner of one bottle of this, and it's waiting for me on my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yucatan State. One of the most iconic flavors, oh, sorry, sir. as we can see, it's Kahana. 
Okay. We are surrounded by coconuts, my friend. Until Jack, this little town where we are, it's a producer of coconuts along with seafood, my friends. Okay. okay, smell it, smell it, smell it. Everybody with a shot? Would you like one, sir? Excellent. Le puedes dar un vasito, por favor. Excellent. That smells wonderful. Mm. Right. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> the amount of alcohol, the volume of alcohol on per mm. bottle will be 20%. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you already yeah. smell it, be my guest and sip it. Sip it. Try it. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. it? That is so wonderful. I know, oh, wow. I know. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> really Let me show it to you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Wow. What I think that I like from this alcohol is that it's smooth. Yeah. Okay. Very, yeah. very, very smooth. Okay. I like to drink it straight on a yeah. shot. Yeah. However, another way that I drink this alcohol, okay, ice on the rocks, a shot of this, and then I add Sprite, okay? And just drink it like that. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's you know? wonderful. Like Some Asian with the other, with the other things we cook and we drink today. There is this. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Especially hit it with the salt before you drink it. Whatever. Or in this case, more of a sauce. Yeah. You can put it on for you put it less. Okay. And you're gonna make. I put a little habanero sauce in mine. Not much. Mr. Drain over here put about five, five drops in his. He gonna be in trouble tonight. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Dev Desmond don't give him that long. He said before we leave, he gonna be in trouble. So. Hey, I just got two words for you. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Robert, you can have my guns if you open up a room. <laughs> <You go. laughs> You're welcome, honey. See, we can go out to that ocean. You see that ocean? It's so beautiful. It's me and you. No one will ever have to. <laughs> <laughs> you my friend never well do you guys know it in english as fashion fruit <gasps> fashion fruit okay fashion fruit i like to call this bottle as the baby maker see <laughs> 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 see <laughs> Put the hat on the door tonight. <laughs> Am I going to be on YouTube? Yes. I was kidding, baby. I want to make it. <laughs> Everybody with a shot? Sip it. Sip it. Try it. Oh my god. If you start, if you start to understand Spanish, it's the right time to stop to drink, okay? <laughs> in the morning, for coffee, put this in there. In my pack. Look at you. Well, you ain't gonna take that. I'm serious. Fuck it inside. And actually, uh, put it in coffee. You put this in your coffee in the morning, it's dangerous. Saturday and Sunday's only when you don't have to go to work. Is it good? Is it good? I'm telling Man, you, it's dangerous. It tastes like true coffee, right? It's good. Yeah. Remember, they use the natural resources they can get from the rock. Yeah? Everybody, this is Philippe. Philippe says I've been cheating all day. I, I have a little, a little. I'm the I'm the teacher for the cooking class and I said you have to chop this. He was already with other things like this, <laughs> mixing the drinks and everything. But he's a good chef, so don't worry about it. Le magnifique. Adios, ciao. <laughs> Vacation vibes. Hi. Yucatan Peninsula. I can do this with Deja. Remember with Sandra? <laughs> <laughs> we left her on the door. <laughs> she, she tried to drown me in the Bahamas. So, we got It is. It is.
Definitely. And the water's not cold either. Feel good. Mm -hmm. Peace. Alright, we are in Progresso. We just left the holy guacamole excursion <laughs> with Felipe going. and Hola. Axel. <laughs> we uh -huh. very highly recommend that you do this excursion <laughs> if you come yes, to Progresso. Yes. It's worth so every fun. penny. Thank you, right. thank you. We really like to, you, to see you guys one more time in Mexico. The doors of my country are always open to you to so come back, please. We will. We will. <laughs> thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. I thought it was wheat. That's what I said. It look like wheat. It look like a wheat. I mean, it's interesting, right? Like, I got a little confused. It don't take much nowadays. <laughs> Different that's about this is praline. That, that's, and that's why I got confused. I was like, I know what praline tastes like, but this ain't it. It tasted like, first it tastes like peanut butter. Then it was like the marshmallow, I, I don't know. Then it was like a finger sandwich crept in. I don't know what the cream in between is. The cream is safe from cake from being dry. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You wanna taste it's praline, no. I mean, no praline in this. <laughs> it literally tastes like. Well, I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> it don't even smell like it. It smells like bread. It smells like bread, like a loaf of bread. I just. I mean, the, the marshmallow cream is good. <laughs> Because toasted. It's toasted. Mm -hmm. Almost reminds me of a s'more. Ooh, and it got a good little coffee in there. That's what it tastes like. And then you put it on the pe drop piece of the cake. And then, ooh. What's for this? I don't, I don't think that's a... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> what is hot? What is happening? So I'll be tired. Bring the new cooks in. <laughs> Mr. Drain is not feeling good right now because <laughs> Mr. Drain not only had a coffee with some kind of chocolate shit and they hit it with Jameson IPA this morning. Then we went to Jameson. the beach. Jameson. Yeah, yeah, Jameson. Then and we coffee. went to the beach and made margaritas and one of them was like a sweet spicy margarita. And he took the he took the habanero pepper and they told us one to two drops. And Mr. Drain said, gloop, 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 gloop. And his margarita and then when we made, what, what was it we made? Uh, the Pico. He, he, hey, they had a little, little thing, a little bowl. It was deeper than this, but about this side with some habanero ground up. Mr. Drain dumped the whole bowl in his Pico. Then we- put the whole bowl in there. <laughs> <laughs> And then, it, yeah, he didn't even feel it. He said he could feel the heat on his lips. I tasted But he couldn't before. feel it, it on his tongue. And wait a minute, wait a minute, it gets better because when we made the guac and took the pico that he already had super spicy, he went back and he went again with some habanero and some more habanero sauce. Gloop, 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 gloop. And now Mr. Drain is feeling well. <laughs> now he's not feeling well, but we're gonna take care of him and doctor him up. But I, I, I think he knows 
what not to do now, we're going to take care of. But remember, remember on the video, we talked about our rye bourbons, and, and Mr. Drain said, drink the high proof shit to burn your taste buds out so you can tolerate the cheap shit. This is what happens when you burn your taste buds out. Ta Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, take note. Don't be like Corey. <laughs> But he gonna be all right, cause we gonna take care of him tonight. But hopefully he's learned his lesson about that hot shit and, and being on a cruise ship. But we gonna take care of Mr. Drain tonight. Ain't we everybody? Yes. <laughs> as long as he don't go to throwing up on us. But I figure it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a, a reenactment of, of the Germans bombing, bombing England tonight because he gonna wear it out. He gonna wear it out. He gonna clear our floor. So today was our last day on the cruise. It was a fun day at sea. We didn't do too much. We pretty much spent the day relaxing, hanging out on the deck. My dad taught us how to clip cigars, light them, and also smoke them. So here we are enjoying it. I believe I had the birthday cake flavor. I think Devin had cola and rum. And there's the four of us smoking our cigars. It's time for us to go to dinner at the steakhouse. These two come out with drinks already in my hands. Number six. That's number six. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, and you? Thank you. We have the Gunters looking nice and elegant tonight, and they're all white. Desmond. <laughs> there you somewhere behind me. And Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> How long did y'all stand in line at the Mongolian Walk? One wow. hour, but it was worth it. I think that was my top meal. My second meal is the burger. The burger, guys, burger. The burger? Yes. And then the third meal I had was the baked potato with, uh, and I had some ribs. And they were surprisingly good. Did you say some ribs? I did. From the buffet? From the buffet. I, I miss them. Yeah. I had some Memphis style pulled pork from the buffet today. And it really wasn't half bad. Yeah. Yeah. And they had some kind of creamy mashed potato that was five five. And Sam went upstairs and got the barbecue. How was the barbecue? Trash. <laughs> Take her word for okay. it. I tried it to it. It, it, it was, it was trash. Okay. <laughs> I have an ongoing theory that mm -hmm. if you come to a uh, steakhouse on the ship on your cruise, that if you come early in your cruise, you get better service. Uh, if you come late in your cruise, it's kind of lackluster. So this is the third time we've been to the steakhouse. The first time on the Magic we went, like the second night of the cruise, it was absolutely marvelous. On the Mardi Gras, it, we went on the last night of the cruise, and it was kind of, it wasn't magical, like on the Magic, it was all right. And now we're on the Valor, and it's the last night of the cruise. And the, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed right now because I feel like serving is rude. I haven't been, I haven't 
haven't even been asked if I want a cocktail yet. I, I, just, I think it's something about the last night. And this is my running theory. You said what? I said, I said, what? Well, when you leave your message. And Dan said the last two nights. They get lazy in time for us. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. They waited for a new group. It's pretty. It's our way of saying it is pretty. Cheers, man. Pretty. It's pretty. Did they taste any? Yeah. <laughs> so what it tastes like? Give, give me your thoughts. Carol. Uh, it tastes like this. It tastes like... You just, you just said Carol Bay Cosmo. <laughs> yeah. Carnival Cosmo. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's <good. laughs> No, no. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's basically a vodka cream, vodka and white cream. White cream juice. Oh, it's so much. Huh? Oh, seven. Seven seeds. 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 I wanted it and he gave it to me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Seven, <laughs> Seven, <laughs> Seven, <laughs> On the last night of our cruises, we were getting ready for de embarkation and packing. We had already pulled into the Mississippi River when we heard a loud noise. Sandra thought it was a barge, but I'm like, no, nah, it's too close to be a barge. So I go out on the balcony to look, no barge, thankfully. And I keep hearing the noise and I look down and I see this, the pilot boat. Uh, got lucky to see it. I've had friends to tell me about it, about the pilot that jumps on the ship and pilots the ship up the Mississippi. I've only seen it one over time and we were on the Mardi Gras coming out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, where the pilot boat let the pilot out after he piloted the ship out of the harbor. Uh, you, you get a good view of it kind of when I was on the Mardi Gras we didn't because it was an overhang on our balcony but with this one I got a better view and I actually kind of saw him jump off the ship onto the Valor. So after the pilot has boarded the ship and I don't I guess he takes control and guides it all the way in the port but you'll see them walking around on deck and you'll see them veer away and the lights turn off and away the they went. They tooted the horn, but I don't think I could I don't think I picked that up. But it was pretty cool. Okay, so it's the last night of the cruise. Our five day western on the Carnival Valor out of New Orleans. We hit the ports of Cozumel and we hit Yucatan Progreso. Uh probably be our last cruise on the Valor. The Valor was actually the first ship that we cruised on is what kind of got us addicted to it and started before COVID hit and slowed it down. We just left the steakhouse. Uh, it was it was pretty pretty good. I think I think the magic was better. Uh, I'm still on my theory that if you go at the beginning of the cruise instead of the end of the cruise, it's better. It was also our first group cruise. It was how many of us? It was 13 of us on our little friends and family cruise, and we had a absolute ball. I am, I'm tired. 
I'm glad I'm on vacation next week too, cause Robert is tired. And I believe it's it's the end of June. And uh it was it was hot. <laughs> Especially in Progresso. It it was hot that he will take it out of you. So I mean it's not much to say. It's mm, I didn't do a lot of video in this time, probably because it was so many of us and you know, enjoying yourself and there's nothing wrong with that. You can't have a camera in your hand all the time. So normally I have saying say something too. I'm I am i do not think I'm gonna let her talk this time because she don't like to get on the camera during the week and then at the end of the cruise she wants to sit down and give you a whole doctoral thesis for about 15 minutes about her likes, dislikes, blah, 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 blah. So she over there packing. It's a good thing. She ain't gonna want to come and say nothing. So it's been good. Maybe on the way back, I might stop and show y'all another one of my little favorite eating spots going up Highway 55 back to Memphis. So with that saying, I, I'm tired. I am. <laughs> I'm beat. It's like 10, 15. Uh, my packing isn't as much as Sands, but I I just want to lay down and go to sleep. Look at TV until TV looks at me. Till next time, peace. <laughs>